what you are about to see is real. All video and audio was captured in an actual paranormal investigation. Nothing has been manufactured or staged. Previously on Local Haunts, the team investigated Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in St. Augustine. We caught EVPs right away before we even started the investigation. Haven't even started anything. Haven't even started anything. Haven't even started anything. And our guide, Benji, learned that Pamela Teresa knows where the activity is. Then we taught Benji how to physically feel spirit. So you can feel that right here and you can feel where he's sitting in my lap. Feel that? Mm -hmm. The warmth, the density. So we have birth mass right here. They're like, if you really want to have fun, go up there. I think it's really neat that we get to go places and nobody else is going to go. There's a couple people here, but that's her right there. No, that's where she is right here. So turn around and you'll feel her. Oh, absolutely. But our investigation was far from over. What more would this treasure trove of paranormal have to offer? Find out as we explore local haunts. We just caught an EVP that validates Pamela's amazing empathic gifts. As she described an injury to one of the earthbound spirits that was present with us in the attic, we caught an EVP of a spirit validating her. And furthermore, they were quite impressed with her abilities. Here it is again, filtered and amplified. Somebody had gang, uh, gang green or whatever the hell that's called in yeah. their right leg and took out a chunk of their um, right muscle and the back between the knee and the butt cheek. Right there. It feels like an icy. That's what it feels like. like Yeah. So we can validate she's standing right there. She's over here by the boxes. Okay. Ooh. You want to stand up? Step over. Yeah. <laughs> over here. He's over here. Done. Oh, he's following you? He's yeah. yeah. Okay. So this again. I'll shoot you guys. Uh -huh. So I can see it now. Samantha's doing her own stunts. Okay, we're walking through her. No, I'm Okay. So, like, no, that's where she is right here. So turn around and you'll feel her. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. 
Coming up on Local Haunts, as we investigate Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. It's interesting because that's a reenactment scene of the, we're, we're not going to give you the background history, but yeah. All right, um, not good. who was up in here um, before ahead of time, but different than her. Now, I got a question for you. Is this a recent, within the last 10 years, this person? Yes, she's never. She's not dressed in a um, period. Could be my mother. No, it's not your mom's transition. She's the one that stands to your right. Oh, good. I'm she's glad to know Because my mother had pancreatic cancer. But that's not stomach cancer. Well, okay. See, there's a difference. Right. Well, uh, and uh, for your mother, uh, she also it went up into her lymph. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's very heavenly. She's in a very transition. Uh, she did not skip a beat. She didn't want to stay here in the earth realm. She was ready to go. But she is in the earth realm and helping you, okay? You know, that's what we do. Not all of the spirits that are tagging along with us are earthbound. Benji's mother, who was on the other side, was also present during the investigation. And she was fully transitioned and heavenly. And as our loved ones on the other side remain with us, she was very much part of the investigation. And just because you catch an EVP, it doesn't mean the source is an earthbound spirit, or what is commonly referred to as a ghost. This EVP was that of transitioned heavenly spirit. Here it is again. Uh, she did not skip a beat. She didn't want to stay here in the earth realm. She was ready to go. But she is in the earth realm and helping you, okay? You know, that's what we do. When we leave the physical realm and become in all awareness of all that is, is universal life. So, like I said, I wasn't going to bust out in a read, but I kind of figured that you understood that we were talking about her, right? But she helps you with your job here, too, as well. And what I can tell you about your mother is she does like to try to clean up and help people make their way through the pearly gates. That's nice of her. Hmm? That's nice of her. Like Blood on the floor? I was hoping. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. I mean, there's remnants of that from Echoes of Past, so, but there is definitely, um, there was a bloody mess up here at one point, and it can be validated up. Can we move on? Our little fun project here. Okay, so we'll be very careful going down the stairs. I'll we'll follow Benji. Nothing but your footprints. Oh, I 
Yeah. Right here? Yeah, I want to get uh, a couple of snapshots. Oh, this place is so beautiful. I wouldn't mind living here at all. Coming up on Local Haunts, as we investigate Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. It's interesting because that's a reenactment scene of the... We're, we're not going to give you the background history, but yeah. Well, this column of perv. 
So he's in the moment too as well, having a sense of humor with us, but he's actually really a perv. I mean, he, he actually uh, did harm two children. Oh, one of those. That's the Miller smell. Yes. Okay. For me, I, I always know when people are like child molesters or perverts or whatnot, if they have a, a real do smell around them, it's, it's not like literally they can smell physically good, but I can still smell a mildew, the stench. Um, this guy, that's why I was wondering if I'm the only one that's smelling the stench of him. He knows he's dead and he's fine with it, but you know. Almost like in your bread box, there's a loaf of, there's, or, or how about like cheese that's gone bad or whatnot, and with a mix of moldy bread. That's the way it smells, kind of. But it's very, it's the spirit smell. So this, it's not the space. The space, the space itself smells good. It's attached to him. So. Just out of curiosity, I wonder if he wants. Coming up on Local Haunts, as we investigate Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. Wow, they hang out here a lot. You feel that, y'all? Yeah, they're warm here. Uh-huh. Believe it or not. They're just I coming. know, believe it or not. switches to the left over if you can see our microwave right there there's yeah, so you're standing right in front of the microphone the microwave is either there or right behind you oh sure wow they hang out in here a lot you feel that y'all lights bright uh um, how are you pick these guys up although that machine might mess that up yeah. everywhere you are you have I don't know if we're going to dishes around here. That would be tragic. Yeah, they're warm here. Uh huh. Believe it or not. Just I know, believe it or not. Yeah. Wow. Believe it. But do you want to kill some of your uh, other worldly co workers? You mean? So much. They like to sit in chairs. Just it just changed. Yeah, you can feel it. You are a sensitive. There's our microwave. Okay. They're in the chairs in here. In the filter. See, he's setting that off. See that? Yeah, I just saw the meter go off. Next time on Local Haunts, we continue our investigation of Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in St. Augustine, one of the most haunted buildings we've ever investigated. Yeah, but it is uh, really full. You got a lot of them in here. Um, I'd say there's more ghost spirits in here than the, than are in, actually in the Sword of Theater. Wow. Um, oh yeah, you can't feel it? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're it's like a seriously... Yeah.